Last time I started to lay down a learning track of what I consider high priority videos in terms of the impact they're likely to have on your trading. I focused then on the Algo Trading for a Living playlist. This time I do similar for a different playlist and the theme of this is one that's very close to my heart, backtesting and optimization. And this was actually the first playlist I created on the Darwin X YouTube channel, probably because I consider backtesting and optimization processes to be one of my specialisms. So let's take a look. Now, it's probably the first two videos that I ever shot for Darwin X that I would consider are two of the most important you could watch. And they focus on a critical issue that many traders face when performing optimizations. And even I keep on returning to these models that I use in these videos just to remind myself how important the information is to the overall optimization success. And this subject that does present these huge problems to algo traders is that of extracting the best parameters from the optimization. Wow, did I really look like that just one year ago? Anyway, when you watch it, try to ignore what I look like, but just listen to what I say. And let me tell you, ascertaining the best parameters is nowhere near as easy as you might think. And this mathematical model that I present illustrates just how difficult it is. When I first came up with these findings, it really blew my mind away. It forced me to look at the whole process of an optimization in a completely different way. Now, back in the early days of my production of videos for Darwin X, each episode was split up into multiple videos. So these two episodes I'm talking about here are actually split into eight separate videos. So it's 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, .1 and then on to 2.1, you get the idea. But to get access to these right now, you can click on the link right above my head to get access to the playlist. And like I said before, even if you've seen these videos already, I would really encourage you to watch them again. You might have forgotten the detail, you might have forgotten the criticality of the implications that the videos reveal. And if you watch nothing else, these are the two videos. Now, Moving on, the next four episodes, so episode three to six, concentrate on the dangers of overfitting and how to avoid this. And actually, these follow on really well from those first two episodes that illustrate the main problem around overfitting. Episode seven then looks at how to best use an optimization and walk forward validation phase. And it talks about the use of a pre-live optimization to actually obtain your parameters to use in live trading. Episodes eight and nine then look specifically at the process of selecting the parameters from an optimization and specifically the best practice ways of using profiles and surfaces to aid your selection. Episode 10 then takes a look at some of my favored performance metrics. So these are the metric you use to measure and compare the performance of parameters in an optimization. Then on to episode 11. This discusses the price data models that are often used in a backtesting process. And it gives advice on how to ensure you choose settings so that the conditions in backtesting or like for like with those you'll get in live trading. And although this is sometimes a difficult topic to get your head around, it's absolutely critical because if you don't take this approach, then you can't actually expect your backtest results to represent your live results. So as I said, although it's challenging, it's also critical to success. And if you want to trust the backtest results you're getting, you need to watch it. 
Now, the remaining episodes in this playlist concentrate on putting all of this previous information together in order to design your optimization model and put together your process using best practice. So that brings us to the end of this episode. Please do remember to give me a thumbs up. And now until next time, trade safe.